making an IMAX theater film because the medium is so different than every other medium. New vantage points, like from the air or from underwater, become much more critical to you. It's a very serious trip that we're going on in freezing waters up in the Arctic Ocean. One of the first things we had to do when we boarded the ship was go through a safety briefing and how to put on a survival suit. If you fell in the water without the survival suit, you'd be dead in three minutes. Hypothermia would set in, and that's it. We're very close to the North Pole on this expedition. It's getting colder by the second. When you're filming sharks, you're often putting bait in the water. When you go out and jump in front of a bear and he's swimming towards you, I, I kind of guess you are the bait. <laughs> so that's kind of a different perspective <laughs> in your black seal suit out there. <laughs> polar bears are uh, much better swimmers. I wish I could swim as fast as a polar bear. They're good swimmers, but they're not good divers. Fortunately, I was a good sinker. And when the bears did come down and show interest, I could just push my camera up to them and keep sinking, and then they change their mind and go back to the surface. So that worked good. I never really felt like I was um, that much in danger by the bears. I felt comfortable as long as the water was, you know, fairly deep. The walrus is over there and to the left there in that little valley. Yeah. Uh, we just found a walrus in the water. So hopefully he will come over and say hello to us. I really was impressed with the walruses. I thought they were just beautiful. And the walruses are good divers. I mean, then they, they move fast in the water. They look so clunky and not very comfortable on land, but when they get in the water, they're really in their element. We got great footage of a whole walrus colony. And one shot in particular, um, the walrus and this baby went straight up to the camera, basically kissed the camera, and then came back up. That's a kind of crazy, amazing, rewarding thing about wildlife filmmaking is being able to get it when you have all the right variables at the same time. You hardly ever have that opportunity, but when you do, it's so rewarding.